来自于美国的拳坛第一杀手，一年要打死三千多人。本场比赛却遭十五岁的中国格斗神童一拳当场打死。哈喽，各位观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看《小野说拳》。那么这场比赛没有错，中美男子对决他来了。不过本场比赛双方的参赛选手呢，背景大有来头。那左边这位非常瘦小的没有错，来自于中国的拳坛小将王小龙，年仅十五岁，却是一身真本领，短短数月已经是拿到了三十连胜的战绩啊，可以说是让这个美国国外媒体呢，这个闻风丧胆，也是叹为观止。那这场比赛王小龙的对手。哦，我的天哪，一个大黑猩猩是吧？哎呦，还耀武扬威。那这名选手就是来自于美国的拳坛重炮杀手马斯卡耶夫。对方选手啊，据说一年要打死六百多人，手下命案多达三千多起。我的天哪！这基本上打比赛不是在杀人，那就是在杀人的路上。而且对方的马，哎呦！这里可以看到，对方马斯卡耶夫的话也是抱起自己的脑袋啊，估计也是见识到王小龙这个拳中脚猛的威力了。对方选手，你看长得是五大三粗，实际上他的拳击技巧呢相当出彩，就是拳中脚猛。所以说，本场比赛王小龙想要战胜对手的话，我觉得可以从速度上这个角度去找办法。那对方选手的话也是。出了名的一个辱华选手，公然表示过：“你们中国人的脑袋在我面前，那就是一块豆腐，一拳打碎你们，那是轻轻松松。”我的天哪！对方的马斯卡耶夫啊，也是完全不把咱们中国人放在眼里。所以说，本场比赛就看王小龙如何收拾对手。哎呦，这个飞踢！哎呦，再来，非常漂亮。可以看到，王小龙本场比赛的话，在腿法上确实很精湛。毕竟俗话说得好，一锤定三拳。这本场比赛呢，多运用锤法呢，也没问题。好，废话不多说，看本场比赛来自于中国的拳坛小将王小龙如何暴打对方的美国拭坛杀手马斯卡耶夫，让我们拭目以待。Then he starts to let the knees fly. Big head kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Weiss gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: it does not feel good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Slices kick blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Just misses there with the left. Able to check the high kick. Kimbo slices lower jaw now, starting to show signs of swelling. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Twenty seconds left. Nice punch lands over the top. Final 
seconds here. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt. <laughs> 好，比赛第一回合已经结束，确实很精彩。中国小将王小龙的一身真本领，真是打的是淋漓尽致，酣畅淋漓，太爽了啊！把对方的这个辱华拳王马斯卡耶夫呢，也是暴打一顿。要知道对方选手啊，可是一个杀人不眨眼的拳坛恶魔。在这场比赛，王小龙丝毫不惧，只要有机会，咱就是进攻，防守想都别想。好，废话不说，看双方选手比赛第二回合的精彩表现，让我们拭目以待。All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. That punch, no good. Sneaky head kick. Oh, strong punch there by Slice. With the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Liver kick. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Unable to connect there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. When that leg kick's coming, almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just out of range with that right hook. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. And he continues to work the body here. Nice straight punch. Slice gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Continue to exchange. And he landed the right hand there. Leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Head kick blocked. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Slice gets caught with that punch. Now connects with a right. Nice body kick. Head kick attempt. It's blocked.
Roundhouse now just misses. Yes, sir. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skips on all their shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Nice body kick. 好，那么这里哨声再次吹响，比赛第二回合已经结束。我的天哪，王小龙，哎呦，吃到了对方的飞踢，一脚撂倒。但是小伙子呢，也是凭借着自己过人的意志力，不断的再起身跟对方再战斗。本场比赛他也深知啊，如果说是躺在地上不起来，那么迎接他的将会是无尽的重拳，甚至要丢掉小命。对方选手三肩托起命啊，真的是杀人不眨眼的恶魔。好，废话不多说，看双方选手比赛第三回合的精彩较量，让我们拭目以待。All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slice gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And again, snaps the head back as another punch lands. Another punch lands. He's doing everything with his hands. This fight's doing. Certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Kimbo slices lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here. He sets him up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh! Boom! Big jab. Straight punch lands. Oh,漂亮！那么王小龙最终在比赛第三回合凭借自己彪悍的铁拳终结了对方的美国拳坛众筹杀手马斯卡耶夫。那这场比赛的话，我觉得可以是被列为啊一场这个替天行道的一场大
呃，老方丈一上来的话，他的攻势上打的确实很猛啊！连续的这个罗汉金刚拳，呃，包括这个腿法上的运用都很漂亮。这场比赛，对方安德鲁特赛前确实很狂啊，这个赛后开始之后啊，啊，确实被打的这个唯唯诺诺。哎呦，再次击倒，非常的过瘾。啊，本场比赛你可以发现一个八十多岁的老头在这个国外的擂台上啊，这个暴打法国佬的比赛确实看得很爽啊！遥想到当年啊，这个。八国联军啊，合起伙来欺负咱们中国人，那么结果时过境迁，这反了过来，咱们八十多岁的老方丈啊，来到法国暴打这个法国猛男，确实很精彩啊。实际上，包括大部分的这个法国的拳击手啊，都是很瞧不起咱们中国人。但是本场比赛也希望咱们老方丈呢，用真本领、真实力战胜对手，也是让这帮法国佬让他们开开眼、长长见识。好，那么这里的话废话不多说，先本场比赛来自于松山少林寺的老方丈，能否用自己真正的少林功夫战胜对方的法国选手？让我们拭目以待。我们来看一下这里比赛第一回合已经结束啊，非常精彩的一场中法大战，少林方丈大战法国猛男的精彩对局。好，我们来看一下对方法国选手的话是身高一米九一，体重在三百零六斤啊，而咱们老方丈的话，咱们体重上这一块是不输对方的啊，因为我们可以从这个视频当中啊，可以发现咱们老方丈的身材呢也是偏胖啊，他也是重达二百多斤。啊，但是这个身高上的需要，呃来说的话，确实咱们老方丈比对方矮上不少。好，比赛再次开始，已经是第二回合，请看咱们老方丈在这一回合能否拿下对方法国猛男，让我们拭目以待。
。哎呦，哨声再次吹响啊！那么这场比赛的话，一场跨了整整五十岁的中法对局，足足大战了两回合。我们来看一下这里，啊、老方丈虽然说是这个非常老了啊，但是我我们可以发现啊，他的功夫包括他的拳法那是相当老了。正所谓姜还是老的辣，本场比赛我相信咱们老方丈最终绝对能够战胜对方法国猛男，完成本场比赛的胜利。好，比赛第三回合已经开始，让我们拭目以待。这场比赛，咱们老方丈最终在比赛的第三回合上演了一首蟒蟒蛇缠树啊，硬生生将对方的法国猛男安德鲁特勒断了脖子，完成了本场比赛的胜利。而且咱们老方丈非常兴奋，现场啊，小舞蹈已经是跳了起来。让我们再恭喜咱们嵩山少林寺的老方丈。那么，同时啊，也非常感谢屏幕前各位观众老爷们的收看，咱们下期视频再见了。中国武僧在美国擂台发飙，用罗汉金刚拳怒砸对手，八百多拳 KO 比赛真够铁气。好了，大家好，欢迎收看《小野说拳》。好，这里的话，比赛开始。那、呃、这一场比赛的话，是一场男子重量级别的中美大战啊，少林武僧大战美国特种兵。好，比赛开始，我们来看一下。哎呦，这记中拳打得非常猛。呃，那双方选手的话，作为一场重量级别较量啊，所以说本场比赛随时都有可能一拳终结对手，结束比赛。呃，所以说这个各位观众老爷们在观看比赛的过程当中呢，千万别眨眼啊，因为你一眨眼，随时都有可能错过本场比赛的精彩画面。好，这里的话简单介绍一下，那么左边选手是少林武僧，这里被对手压在了身下，我们来看一下，呃，少林武僧啊，少林第一武僧随缘大师。而这个长头发的这个选手啊，便是来自于美国的特种兵丹尼尔·罗伯特。好，那么这一次咱们少林武僧是来到了美国擂台打比赛啊，但是万万不曾想，对方的丹尼尔·罗伯特的不仅是朝着咱们少林武僧的脑袋上吐口水，并且表示“死秃瓢，死秃驴”，本场比赛我定会亲手打废你。啊，那不仅如此，那据说对方的丹尼尔·罗伯特的话，他是一个有着非常严重辱华倾向的这么一个美国佬，呃，并且据说对方丹尼尔·罗伯特呢，曾经多次向世界拳击委员会表示说，这个中国人啊，最好不要再来国际上打比赛啊，因为你们实在太弱，根本不可能是美国人的对手。哎呦，对方的美国特种兵丹尼尔·罗伯特真的是有点太过于嚣张啊，所以说本场比赛少林武僧这里又被扑倒了。呃，这个美国特种兵他们的部队打法呀，包括这个自由搏击术，他们是有很强大的地面技巧。而少林武僧啊，咱们摔跤技巧比较强啊，但是这个柔术上来看的话，并不是很强啊。好，这场比赛啊，少林武僧在遭受了对方美国特种兵的各大羞辱之下啊，并且也是听到了对方侮辱咱们中国之后呢，少林武僧随缘大师也是表示，本场比赛咱们新仇旧账一并算了，暴打对手。好，这里废话不多说，讲本场比赛少林武僧如何收拾对方的美国特种兵，完成本场比赛的胜利啊！好，让我们拭目以待。
Jones.好的，我们来看一下比赛第一回合已经结束，打得非常精彩。那咱们少林武僧的话，在拳脚功夫上来看的话，是完全要优越于对方的美国特种兵啊，包括在抗击打能力上，咱们也是很强啊。但是对方的这个美国特种兵的攻势上来看的话，打的是比咱们猛的啊。好，这里啊，但是短短五分钟啊，也是一个熟悉彼此打法一个热身阶段啊。所以说，比赛第二回合，看咱们少林武僧会有什么样的精彩表现，什么样的出色发挥。好了，让我们拭目以待。
好的，我们来看一下，那么本场比赛有了第一回合的作战经验之后呢，咱们少林武僧在比赛第二回合的发挥非常出色啊，打法上也是越战越勇啊，并且的话，咱们这凭借着这个金钟罩铁布衫护体，哦呦，你可以看到这脚踢得很重，但是少林武僧依然是啊，不动如山。反观，哦呦，咱们踢对方选手的时候呢，我对方的这个美国特种兵啊非常痛苦。好，这场比赛来到了第三回合，请看双方选手第三回合的表现。好了，让我们收台。亮后手重炮，仅用了二十一秒钟的时间。那么恭喜少林武僧获得了本场比赛的胜利！我的天哪，这少林最强武僧本场比赛是大闹美国擂台啊，用罗汉金刚拳打躺美国选手。那么再次恭喜少林武僧获得了本场比赛的胜利。那么同时也非常感谢屏幕前各位观众老爷们的收看，咱们下期视频再见了。